Hey guys, and welcome back to another Unreal Engine 5 tutorial. In today's video, we're going to be going over how to toggle Lumen in game. So, as the player is actually playing your game, they can press a button to turn Lumen on and off. Now, you may be wondering why do you want to do this? Why would you not just make the game with Lumen or without? And that's because Lumen can look absolutely beautiful, it can look amazing. However, it's still not perfectly optimized to be blunt at the moment. So, while it looks great, it still doesn't run great. So for some people it might, which is why you can have the option to have it on, but for others it might work better for them without it on, but giving the player the option is still quite nice and something you might want to do. So the environment I'm using is just from the Unreal Engine Marketplace, which I'll leave a link in the description down below to, and you can see at the moment I'm getting about 20 frames a second in this environment. So if I were to hit play and show you what we're going to make today, you can see that we can walk around Lumen is currently on and you can see because the lighting looks really great and we've got these really lovely reflections down here as well. But if I had to press 1 we can toggle it and now you can see it has changed. So we've still got some nice reflections but they're not Lumen reflections and the lighting itself isn't Lumen 2. Now you might think that is a big change of how it looks, I don't want to do that. That's purely because this environment hasn't been set up for both Lumen and not Lumen. So that's something you can obviously think about when creating it is what it looks like with Lumen enabled and also what it looks like without. And you might want to create some different sub-levels with different lighting so you can actually then switch between those lighting levels as well. But today I'm just going to show you how to actually toggle Lumen on and off so you can enable it and disable it while playing the game as you can see perfectly here. Now you'll notice as well my FPS isn't really changing a massive amount, it is changing a bit by about 5 frames. For you that might be a more significant increase, the only reason it's not that high for me is because of the specs of my PC and the size of this environment it's not going to make a huge difference but for other games and for other and other machines it will be a much bigger difference so this is what we're going over and creating today so without further ado let me delete this code and i'll show you how we've done it so the way we're going to be doing this is through a post process volume so you'll obviously want to make sure you have lumen enabled in your project and unless you've disabled it you will have it enabled as it comes enabled by default in unreal engine 5 projects and you want to make sure that you have a post process volume covering the area in which the player is going to be in or just make it so it is unbound infinite extent. Once we've done this you're going to want to make sure that you select the post process volume in the world outliner up here. Then we're going to go to the level blueprint. And we will right click and then create a reference to the post process volume which we have. This is because we can only modify this in the level blueprint. We are then going to drag out of the post process volume and we are going to set settings. So you want to make sure you get set settings, not get there like so. And then we're going to drag out of settings there and we're going to now make post process settings. And we can open that up like so. But you'll notice when we open it, there is actually nothing there. So for you, all of these will likely be closed. So we can do that again like so. So you will likely have something which looks like this where nothing is enabled. So we're going to want to search in the top right and just simply search for global illumination. Open that drop down menu and we're just going to tick method so we have as pin and you can see that will now appear on your make post process settings like so. Then the other one we want to do is we're also going to search for reflection and we want to go under reflections here and again tick method. And now this here allows us to switch between lumen and any other method we want for the global illumination and for the reflections. That allows us to now enable and disable Lumen in our game. Now the way we're going to be actually switching between them is we're just going to right click and add a custom event naming this toggle Lumen and then that will go into a flip flop which will toggle between the values of A and B as you can see here. Let me just move this out of the way so we can see what we're doing a bit better. A is going to go into the set settings of our post process volume and then we're just going to drag these up to make them a little bit more better organized like this and then we're going to simply duplicate that set settings and plug that into B making sure to connect the target into the post process volume once again then we will duplicate the make post process settings and also connect that up into the set settings like so and now you can see we're going to be setting the values of our post process on A and B so we want to make sure that these are actually setting them to something different so for me, Lumen is going to be enabled by default, so when I press it the first time, I want to turn it off. So what we can do is just set it to none. And then when we go to B, we want to make sure we re-enable Lumen 
so I want to set those to Lumen there. Now if you actually click on the method you can see we have many different options. So we have none, which will obviously just be no global illumination. We have Lumen, Screen Space, Standalone Ray Trace and Plugin. Screen Space is quite good, especially for the reflections, but just for the purpose of this video I'm going to be putting none for all of these. But again, you can choose which ones you want to do based upon how it looks and feels in your project. We'll compile and save that. So now we have this set up, we now just need to be able to call it. So I'm going to be doing that on the player character. So when the player presses 1, for example, this will then toggle the lumen. Now you can do this in a widget if you want. It's the, it will work the exact same way. You'll just want to make sure that you reference the correct blueprint. So I'm going to open up my character blueprint, which for me is content, third person, blueprints, BP, third person character. Then in here, we're going to go down to the bottom left and create an event dispatcher. And that will actually allow us to basically call a function or cast to essentially the level blueprint because you can't normally do that. So I'm going to call this one toggle lumen ed. So toggle lumen event dispatcher. I'm then going to drag out and call this. And again, I want to just do this when the player presses one. So I'm going to right click and search for one keyboard event like so. But again, you can do this wherever and however you like. For example, in a settings widget, and you would just do the exact same thing. So create an event dispatcher and then just call that event dispatcher when you want to actually do it. So we'll compile, save, and then that's all we need to do now. We can close it. Now back in the level blueprints, we want to go to event begin play. So I can hold down P, left click, or just search for it. And then we're going to cast to the blueprint we just created the event dispatch in. So for me, that is going to be my third person character. So cast to BP third person character. Now for you, if this is in a widget, you're going to want to make sure you get a reference to the widget that you have put on screen. So you can't just cast to the widget, you need to get the actual reference where you get the node create widget. I hope that makes sense. If it doesn't, feel free to leave a comment or even better, message me on Discord as I don't always see the comments on here. The object for me is going to be get player character as I'm obviously casting to a character blueprint. And then as that blueprint, what we're going to do is bind event to and then whatever you named it. So I named mine toggle lumen ed. And now you can see we have this event node here. We're just going to connect that into the toggle lumen custom event we created. So you now have this red line linking the two. That means whenever we press one in our character blueprint, it is going to fire off that event dispatcher and that event dispatcher is linked or binded to this custom event. So this custom event will then fire off every time. So we compile, save, and close this, we can now hit play and test this out to see what it looks like in game. So again, we're in this building now, you can see the lovely global illumination and reflections of Lumen. If I to press one, it's gonna turn those off. So we now have Lumen disabled and the Lumen reflections disabled as well. So it's now just using the normal, basically UE4 settings. Obviously the rendering engine is still different, so it will look slightly different, but we've basically removed Lumen. And if we press one, it will toggle those back on and turn them back on again. So I think that'll be it for this video as we've done everything we want to do. What we've done is we've very simply just set up a system in which we can enable and disable Lumen so we can just toggle Lumen while actually playing the game so the player has full control of it instead of us having to do it in the back end in editor and only be able to use one in the game. The player can choose which one they want to use. So thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you found it helpful. And if you did, please do make sure to like and subscribe down below. So thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.